Alzheimer's, it's like a death. The person is there, but their mind isn't there. Their personality isn't there. It's a horrible thing. But think if there was an effective treatment for that terrible uh, disease. Not only Alzheimer's, but Parkinson's and maybe Lou Gehrig's. Well, our medical reporter, Laurie Johnson, brought us that story, and the answer is yes. And guess what? A simple treatment is called coconut oil. And more than five million people watch that story on our CBN News website. Now, Laurie tells us that some heavy hitters in the Alzheimer's medical establishment are also taking notice. Steve Newport's Alzheimer's symptoms reversed after he started taking coconut oil. His wife documented Steve's astounding progress in her book, Alzheimer's Disease, What If There Was a Cure? This clock test illustrates his dramatic improvement. Here's his clock drawing before the coconut oil. Two weeks into the treatment, he drew this. And look at the change after five weeks. Steve's story spread like wildfire, and his wife is busy gathering the reaction. Some of these responses have been quite dramatic, and I do have a collection now of uh, almost 220 uh, reports, mostly from caregivers and some from the person themselves, reporting that they saw improvement after they started uh, taking coconut oil. All these testimonials are turning the Alzheimer's community on its ear. For example, at the world-renowned Bird Alzheimer's Institute, people you know, can't stop talking animals. about them. When a patient or a family member comes in uh, with a patient and they're interviewing with the physicians, they always have a question. I've heard about coconut oil. What, 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 what's going on with that? Um, and. Uh, at least up until this time, all we can say is there's anecdotal information that it may be beneficial. There hasn't been any kind of research study that's ever been done. That's about to change with the Institute's first study of how coconut oil affects human beings with Alzheimer's. If the study finds evidence that coconut oil helps, doctors will finally have the proof they need to begin recommending it to their patients. I, I think that they feel uncomfortable making a recommendation of something that um, they don't feel justified uh, by the science behind it. And that's part of the reason we're going to do the study, is to determine can we then provide that justification. Here's how it appears the coconut oil works. In patients with Alzheimer's, insulin resistance prevents their brain cells from accepting glucose, their primary fuel. Without it, the cells die. But there is an alternate fuel known as ketones, which cells easily accept. Ketones are metabolized in the liver after eating coconut oil. Insulin resistance doesn't just affect people who have Alzheimer's, but also folks with dementia, MS, diabetes, Parkinson's, ALS, even autism. So can coconut oil help these people too? It appears so, at least some of them. Doctors diagnosed Sam Stout with Parkinson's disease seven years ago. He soon began losing the ability to perform many functions. But five months ago, he started taking coconut oil, and his life changed again. I can now write. I've written letters, which I hadn't done in three years. I have, I can swirl a wine glass. I can beat an egg. I can grate cheese, all these things I couldn't do. And I think I have better balance. He also noticed mental and emotional improvement. I think I'm clear-headed, more clear-headed. People have said to me, you look great this year. And I can only attribute it to the coconut oil because that's the only thing that has changed. Then there's Butch Matchlin, an American living in Mexico City. He's suffered with ALS for almost five years and says his symptoms have reversed thanks to coconut oil. Yeah, I can, I can pick up. Yeah, and there was a time when I had difficulty with that, okay? Not, not just picking it up, but it was just holding on, just getting a hold of it, okay? Getting my fingers to go around it, okay? And... Um, those, that's gone. 
While Butch isn't walking perfectly, his legs are stronger and about to get even better. I have bad knees, okay, from the past, okay? But now, okay, I've improved enough that the doctors have said that I qualify for a new knee in my left leg. So while not everyone has experienced great results with coconut oil, there are plenty who have, enough that the medical community will spend time and money learning exactly who it helps and why. Lori, breakthrough science. There's medical attention. All right, let's go through. This stuff is kind of like butter. How do you, how do you take it? Well, you buy it at the oh, store. Yeah. I get mine at Walmart. It's okay. five bucks for one of these containers. Okay. And I just scoop it out. It has the consistency of butter. Butter, yeah, it's, right. It's solid at room temperature. And I just microwave about a tablespoon every morning and throw it back. Oh, oh you do? You, you, you melt it in the mm -hmm. microwave? Right. Now, some people will put it in their oatmeal and bake it in food, but I just want to go ahead and just take it. I don't need to I, put it I, in my food. You, you probably disagree with grilled cheese sandwiches, but I, I use whole wheat bread, but I, I, I use coconut oil, put it in a frying pan, and they're delicious. I have substituted all oils for, with, I use coconut oil. I, I bake with it instead of using vegetable mm. oil. I cook with it, just like what you were saying. So, no, I applaud you for that. Okay, I'm glad I'm applauded. <laughs> but, I'm not going to get mad at you. All right. Well, now, <laughs> let's get to the science of it. You say this gets into the liver and, and, and releases ketones? Ketones. That's the, that's the key ingredient because they're thinking that a lot of these diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, mm -hmm. ALS, even maybe autism, that for some reason, glucose, which is the primary fuel source, isn't getting into the brain cells. But ketones are an alternate fuel source, and that's what you get from eating coconut oil, but they're really not found anywhere else. But now, the glucose is just sugar, isn't it? I right, mean, mm -hmm. that's, from, that's from regular food. Mm -hmm. Regular food? Yeah. But the, the people with Alzheimer's, they don't process the glucose? That's what the thinking is is that that glucose is not getting into their brain cells and so the brain cells die but ketones are a different kind of fuel but the only place you can find them coconut oil Except, the only place you can find it is Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Walmart, where's my check? I just gave them a huge no. note. There, it's everywhere, too. It's just um, it's just the cheapest at Walmart, and I'm it's a penny a, pincher. Okay, mm -hmm. but you you take maybe a tablespoon of that and, and put it in a the microwave, then you got a little oil you drink. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. I do fish oil. I do two tablespoons of uh, concentrated fish oil Good. every day. So do I. You do? Good for you. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Man, we're so healthy, Lori. I know, right? Hey, yeah, man. Yeah, indeed. That's why I can live. For, well, 120, I think, is the age we're supposed to shoot for. After mm -hmm. then, I'm not sure. But. I'm getting ready to do a story on how to live to be 100 and uh, interviewing a bunch of centenarians Fantastic. to talk about what, what they all have in common. And I'll give you one little key is a zest riding. for life. Horseback riding. Uh, well, you have the zest for life. Yeah. And, you know, a, a natural curiosity. <laughs> Curiosity and excitement for living, loving, connecting with people, and all of a sudden we've gone from coconut oil to living to be a hundred. <laughs> well, it's it's it all part of the same thing. Okay. You know, I, I don't know if we have time to talk about this, but it's very important. They're working on a super-powered coconut oil called ketone ester up at the NIH, and there's a bunch of information about it on our website, but it's 10 times more powerful than coconut oil. Last week, they just re released the results of studies on mice with Alzheimer's, and it reversed their Alzheimer's. Mm. They need to do this, uh, start studying this ketone ester on people, and then make it available to the general public, but they're having funding problems Boy, this is, NIH. This is so so go on our website. There's all kinds of information about uh, are you that. Breaking the story. Is this your your story? Well, or actually, uh, your secretary Barbara Johnson gave it to me because one of our viewers wrote in and said, "Hey, why don't you look into coconut oil?" So I wow. really think the Lord is behind it, honestly. Well, it is. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's this God. is like a living hell. I mean, a person. Yes. They're alive. They look like human beings, like you've known them, but they, they're this vacant. They, they, their brain isn't there. It's, right. it's horrible. It's horrible. Five million people have it, not to mention all the caregivers. Yeah. This is a family problem, and it's a societal problem. I mean, if we don't come up with a cure or an effective treatment mm. for Alzheimer's, it's going to obliterate Medicare in the next 15 or 20 years because as our population yeah. ages. But listen to this. 
uh, of all the money spent uh, on cancer, medical care costs, mm. 5% goes to research. All, right. all the money spent on uh, heart disease, 2% goes to research. All the money spent on medical care costs for Alzheimer's, guess how much goes to research? Zero. Practically 0.3%. You're kidding. Three tenths of 1%. And that has got to change. And the way it changes mm -hmm. is for folks to contact their state and federal legislators mm -hmm. and say, we need more government money going towards Alzheimer's research. And I can't figure out why they won't do it. Is it ageism? Do they think that Alzheimer's is like old fogies disease? Well, I think They're going it. to they just, die soon anyway, they or what? Into, into nursing homes and then watch them die. That's exactly right. So folks can get involved and demand more research. We've got to find a cure. Got to find but a treatment anyway. You melt this tablespoon of coconut oil every day mm -hmm. and you drink it. Yep. Throw it back. Throw it like back. Like a shot. Like a Not shot. that I advocate no, that. Like <laughs> I'm just saying. You sound uh, too I, accomplished yeah, with take, throwing down a yeah, shot. Okay. I actually take a couple <clears throat> tablespoons, one, one in the morning and one at night. Because you know what else? It's a natural antibacterial. And so it kills a lot of the bad bacteria in your body and frees up your immune system to fight viruses. So. It's actually been shown to fight herpes and AIDS viruses Dear because man. your immune system isn't so busy fighting the bacteria. So you and Terry were earlier talking about colds and flus. Yeah. It's a great natural prevention My for goodness. colds and flu. Okay. Well, anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, coconut oil, you can get it at grocery stores. You can get it wherever the stuff is sold. It comes in, you know, little containers. And I'm sure the, cell, the shelves are going to be stripped bare before this program is over. But anyhow, get it, melt it, drink it, cook with it, and stay healthy. Laurie, you're terrific. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Terry.